Right, welcome everyone to the very first daily race C of Gran Turismo 7. I'm so excited. And I'm very slow. I've just done a very quick quality lap, which is going to put us right at the back. Let's say hello to everyone. Uh, hopefully we're on the best tyres available. Racing hards. Yeah. Uh... We're always on a 46.6, but he's been practising. So we did one lap to the 49.6. And that's the warm-up done. And now we're going to race. I've no idea how this race is going to go. 10 laps at Daytona. And I haven't tuned this car at all. All I've done is detuned it down to the BHP limit and added ballast. So <laughs> we will see how all this goes. But yeah, this is the very first daily race C in Gran Turismo 7. I did 500 hours of Gran Turismo Sport last year. 500 hours, mainly in daily race B and C. So let's see how this goes. Um, our quality time, yeah, is four seconds slower than Zavisic. So let's see what happens. So I haven't changed the anti-roll bars. I haven't changed the LSD stuff that I would normally do. This is a stock. This is if you were going to end daily race C in pretty much a stock car. This is the car that you you would be driving in. I understand this is going to be a fuel saving race. I don't know how much fuel saving is involved, so we'll just crack on for the moment. Daily race C is here. So I'm going to treat this like if I was in the karting race where I've qualified near the back and we don't have the qualifying pace, we probably don't have the outright pace, so it's just a case of driving smart and uh, picking up positions where we can. We'll definitely want to try and be in the banking in the back straight. Bad on the brakes, so. Little tap. Oh, it's Super GT. Hello, sir. Hi. Old teammate. I'm gonna move the BB a bit to the rear like that. Different ways you can set up a car for Daytona. It looks like we might have a bit of rural top end speed. We are on a slip. Oh, contacts. Oh, we got a track limit. Okay. Oh, Super GT got a three second track limit. We both, we both, so if you don't know, we both uh, race in the same karting championship in real life. And uh, <laughs> we definitely like to maximise the old track limits. Oh dear, the two carters getting caught out. Interesting, both of them are very deep. Come on. I understeer so much there. Like, it's when I come off the brakes, I, mean, I expect to have rotation. I, I don't. I think I just need to hold the brakes in for longer. I should back out of this. Just make it easy for us to work as a three, catch up with that back. Need to get the car slowed down the more than I think. I'm not getting any trail braking benefit. May as well just stop the car while I'm trying to rotate it a bit earlier. So there is quite aggressive tyre wear, I believe, in this race. Let's bump this monster. 
There is a pattern just up there. Right, let's try not to get the old track limit here. I'm, I'm afraid I don't really know where I got it. Looks like Super GT's had a big problem there. <laughs> I think he's uh, spun out of the chicane. Oh, he's gone. Well, in this battle between Audi GT, Super GT, Audi GT is going to win out. You see the win there in the top right? It's getting darker as well, which I like. There we go, just staying on the brakes a little bit longer. You can see we're catching this pack, but I suspect this pack is going to be uh, fuel saving. We're really not good on fuel. We are going to make it a one-stopper, though, at least. We are short-shifting in the core, but that's what I would do in um, GT Sports, doing the same here. Keeping pace. Keeping pace. All the time we're learning track in the car. Definitely will be more. Oh, two second penalty there. Wow. Okay, well, let's try and. If we can overtake him around the chicane, we'll do that. Obviously, some more time we can extract out of the car with uh, tuning. So I'll try and dive up the inside here. Give it up, fair play. It's wrong gear there. Someone spun out. Oh, half a second. Ref. Referee. Wow, am I cutting the exit too much? I, I don't feel like I'm cutting it more than people around me, but I guess I am. I guess I am. Hopefully we can catch back up with the gem and not make it the worst penalty in the world there, the half a second. It's going to go a little bit deep again. Right, up to 15th. There's the pack going around the international horseshoe. Yeah, that line he did there, kind of aim for the apex, because you, you can't really trail break it. So you may as well aim for the apex, get it slowed down. I think that's the line. Same thing here. If you kind of open up on the way in and just aim for this apex and stop it in a straight line, because I think, unlike iRacing, you can't really pivot it. Right. I wonder if we're catching that Ford GT up there. The Frenchman. AMG is giving us a really nice slip. It was three seconds off Zavisic's time, but I think we were five seconds off in Quali, so again, not going too badly, not going too badly. There's all the pack going through the uh, bus stop. Really lift off and save here. Let's try not to get a penalty. Please don't give me a penalty for that. Okay going to be half a second up. We did get a uh, slowdown, didn't we, last lap? So we'll see. Oh, Zavisic with 46.2. Hopefully this is going to be at least a second quicker. Again, we'll try and bump the uh, AMG if we can. Right, Vegas in the pits with 20 fuel. Okay, so we're not too far off Vegas in terms of our fuel consumption. We'll have to box next lap, I think. I don't think we're going to change tyres, though. These hard tyres seem to be standing up. Oh, someone spun it here. I'm just going to try and chop across. <gasps> oh, I don't know. I think I was clear, but... There you go, mate. Two very different cars here, that McLaren. 
much better handling car. This Corvette. Trickier in the corners, but a bit of a beast down the straight. And I absolutely love the accelerated time of day. The lights now on. This of Gran Turismo 7, I just absolutely adore. The feeling, the immersion, the emotion. It really is so good for this. Hopefully this recording is working. It is a one take. Do free to like and subscribe, by the way, if you're enjoying this. On the road to 20,000 subscribers. And it's all down to you. Amazing viewers. Right, are we going to have to box? Yes, we are going to have to box. And I've never done a pit entry here. And I've actually never pitted in a sport mode. So let's just go up high. I think everyone's going to have to box. Because let's see what the line is. Okay, don't change. Hopefully we didn't get a penalty there. I think that McLaren went over that white line. And how's the pit exit going to be? Obviously in IRIC I'm used to not going over that white line. So we're going to fill up to the uh, to the diamond. So we're up to P12 at the moment, but it might be a bit messed up. Because our, our pit box might be ahead or something. There's Rory came in with six, so... I don't think anyone's really fuel saving. There we go. 92. Oh, inside the McLaren. And no penalty for pit cut cutting for us. I wonder if someone else would have got one to get that radar up because the McLaren's here. Again, okay, I'm going to chop across because this will take our line. I noticed he did break quite a little bit later for this corner, so let's hope we don't get ploughed into. Oh, here's Alex. Oh, quite nice to take it there. I mean, slow, but nice. It's going to be on the outside, which isn't going to work for him. I feel like he's got pace in us, but again, he's going to struggle a bit down the straight. So we're up to P11, chat. Somehow we've got to P11. Never give up. We never give up on this channel. That is our thing. Whether it's a 20 minute race, an hour race, three hours, six hours, 12 hours, we never give up. Oh, that might be a pen. I wonder if, you, if it's like GT Sport, whereas if you're off throttle, it won't give you a penalty. Right, somehow we're up to P11. I have no idea how this has happened. Uh, we didn't change tyres, that might bite us in the arse later, we'll see. But knocking them do all the top 10 potentially. But here's that Macca. I do love Daytona Turn 1, it's one of my favourite corners in the world actually. Wow, it's getting really dark now. I don't want to go too deep with the International Horseshoe. Definitely don't want to fall off it. We can improve to the extent we can leave this McLaren. That would be absolutely amazing. Bit of a snap. Please a bit of time there. see how gingerly I am on the throttle right big slide that's going to lose us time that's going to make us a target here I'm going to stay defensive but I'm feeling like we're all going to lose a lot of time here hopefully my big Corvette 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 V8 engine can just keep this macker at bay we're going to show defensive lose a few positions there. Fair enough. We had a horrendous <laughs> bus stop. There's definitely so much weight transfer you can feel. 
Right, so we're in P14. Uh, we're in the mix here. We're in the mix. It's the most important thing. Get a good view of all this stuff going on ahead. Wow. We're really revving out this time, aren't we? Oh, man. Don't tell me I've got that overtake done. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love Daytona Turn 1. I really do. German doing that very aggressive line. Just kind of overshot it. Mac in a bit of trouble there. Right. Can we work our way up again? Wonder if these people change their tyres. Oh, see ya to the full GT. Get your rest out in the comments. To me, just so steady on the throttle. Right, I can see P9 up there even. Maybe someone might have got the fuel a bit wrong. We'll see. Clarence still there. Right, I need a good bus stop. Take it easy, take it easy, don't get a penalty. <laughs> I thought I was okay there. I thought I was okay to drop the hammer. And uh, the car wasn't quite settled. Absolutely loving this. P12 and our first top split. Daily Race C with some genuine aliens in here. Zavisic and Womble battling at the top. He's flashing the lights. We're going to go low. We're going to go low and see what's what. Two laps to go. Two laps to go. Tell you what, this is good. The rumours of Gran Turismo 7's sport mode demise have been well exaggerated. Don't believe all the hype. And uh, I'm excited to tune this car and see just how we can make it a little bit more manageable for us. Maybe eke out a bit more performance. We get, I think I just need to lift off through the bus stop, get it pointed, don't get the track limit, and uh, just, you know, get on the power when it's really safe to do so. There we go. Nice. Can be a lot nicer on the tyres as well, that one. Right, last lap. We're P12. We've got P13 right behind us. But people might be really struggling with fuel. You never know. We're just about on the limit with fuel. Just about we're going to make it. A bit of lifting coast. This, that might not go away. There's the uh, RA or whatever it is. Macca. Yellow flag, yellow flag. Oh, someone's going the wrong way. It's Alex. That is the R8. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd gone too deep, but that is the line I really wanted. And if we could just uh, tune the LSD a little bit, tune the diff, we can uh, get the rotation nice and get on the power a bit smoother. Back up to P11. If you have enjoyed this race and you are new here please do hit that subscribe button you can grow this channel and uh, if you've been here before thank you for coming back he's right on us now he's right on us now it's a return of the mac the ghost
show him to the outside. If he wants to be really brave, he can be really brave. Always being brave. Oh, yeah. Okay, we, we did kind of go side by side on entry. We did kind of go side by side. Right. I think if we get this, uh, make sure we don't massively blip this. Ooh. Oh, gosh. 0.1 laps remaining on fuel. We made it. P11 in our first Daily Race C top split. And it was a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about that race? Is that what you expected? It's interesting that the R8s are at the front, I, I suspect, and also in R8's vision there, that being really good for the twisty bits, and then you can tune the gearing to give you the speed on the straight. So this Corvette is not great on the twisty bits. See my teammate Rory here. So we, I've done two 24-hour races at Daytona with Rory in P7 there. Um, uh, it was also in the Corvette. And yeah, nice little P11 for us. Super GT unfortunately had that issue. Vegas as well. Um, but yeah, cheeky, cheeky P11 in top split. I'll take it. Going to be a lot more Daily Race C to come on the channel. And I can't wait. That was absolutely superb. The dynamic weather, the way it started in the evening, it went tonight. Gives me goosebumps a little bit. The sound is much better. The cars are harder to drive, 100%. And, um... That was better than GT Sport in pretty much every way. That was really good. Let's see what happens in the old uh, post-race. Any pencils have come out. Oh, we got a trophy as well, because we finished with no fuel in the tank. So, yeah. So, f yeah, for everyone who's watched my videos and when I've been driving with assists on to show people what it's like with the assists on, come and meet me in Top Split Daily Race C and we'll have a pull and a push. Let's say GG. Nice. Pasta Maldonado was in here as well. Old Pasta. There we go. Right. Off to the tuning shop. Off to the tuning shop. I'll see you all uh, next time. Got to end the video.